Tuberculosis is one of the deadliest diseases in the world. It kills around 1.7 million people annually. Unfortunately, lots of antibiotics don't work against the TB bacteria due to its strong drug resistance. Researchers here at UBC are fervently developing new methods to combat the current threat of the constantly mutating strains of tuberculosis. This is Dr. Santiago Ramon Garcias. He works in the Thompson Lab at the Life Sciences Center and is one of the lead researchers currently working on alternative drug treatments for TB. One of the reasons TB became so resistant to antibiotics is because many patients don't take the drugs to the end of their treatment. When they start to feel better, they stop taking the drugs. This period without the antibiotics allows the remaining TB cells to develop new ways to combat the antibiotics. And when the symptoms start coming back, the same antibiotics no longer have an effect. This is a, a big problem because there are only a few drugs that are actually active against the workload. The drugs that are being researched act together in certain combinations to amplify or enhance the activity of one particular drug. When TB develops resistance to antibiotics, it's like a fortress that becomes impenetrable by the antibiotic. Synergistic drugs are like spies that infiltrate the fortress and compromise its defense system. The spies disable the defense system and let the guard down. Then, the antibiotic, acting as the main army, come in, storm the fortress, and kill the bad guys. In this research, Dr. Santiago and the other researchers used a replacement bacterium, Smegmatis, similar to the TB bacteria to, as a test subject. Tuberculosis is a CL3 pathogen. CL3 means containment level 3 pathogen. As I said, it's transmitted by the air. So when you're working with tuberculosis, you cannot work in an open area like this one. Additionally, the growth of the TB bacteria must also be considered. Uh, another problem is that tuberculosis grows very, very slowly. So when you do a stricken and you look for colonies, it takes about three weeks to generate a single colony. So experiments with tuberculosis are really slow. Due to the nature of the bacteria, TB is not fit for testing in the initial phase of the experiment. Smegmatis is much safer and still provides useful results. According to Dr. Santiago, the replacement bacteria can solve most, if not all, of the problems. To identify what chemical combinations inhibit the growth of the replacement bacteria, they added variety of existing approved drugs together with an antibiotic that has no effect on TB. Then, they checked to see if the combination can enhance the activity of the antibiotic and prevent growth of the bacteria. Researchers use robotic facilities to combine and screen thousands of these combinations in a short period of time. Even after testing all these combinations on Smegmatis, the researchers must test selected combinations on the TB bacteria as well. Key findings is that we can improve the activity of expectinoids. Okay. This finding was crucial because the results showed that using particular antibiotic with other existing drugs has an effect on inhibiting TB bacteria growth. And with these findings, he hopes to come up with a new line of drug therapy that can revolutionize the way we treat TB today.